Hello guys, today we can discuss about GPU prices falling. NVIDIA and AMD GPU prices fall below 90% of their MSRP ahead of next-gen graphics card launch. NVIDIA and AMD GPU prices continue to fall as AIBs try to clear away graphics card inventory to make room for next-gen products. As reported by 3D Center, the current price trends show that the current-gen GPUs have fallen below 90 of their MSRP which is good news for consumers but is the current decline in prices enough to sway users into buying them? AMD and NVIDIA GPU prices now drop below 90% of their MSRP. Graphics cards manufacturers readying for next-gen launch dia and AMD GPU prices continue to fall as AIBs try to clear away graphics card inventory to make room for next-gen products. As reported by 3D Center, the current price trends show that the current-gen GPUs have fallen below 90% of their MSRP which is good news for consumers but is the current decline in prices enough to sway users into buying them. Look this graph. AMD Radeon and NVIDIA GeForce graphics cards drop below 90% of their MSRPs in August. This image credits. 3D Center, when the GPU mining hitting time price also up, so is a last effort. Both GPU makers have notified their partners of some really aggressive price cuts headed to their graphics cards later this month. This will be the last attempt to get rid of any and all inventory of graphics cards but at the same time, it looks like the price cuts have made the GPU prices fall below 90% of the MSRP. Currently, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series are priced at an average 87% lower than their MSRP while the AMD Radeon RX 6000 series are priced at 84% lower pricing than their MSRP. 3D Center also provides a crucial update, listing down the release models from each manufacturer and where their pricing currently stands. As per the report, the main lineup which excludes low-end and premium models is made up of 6,800 Armenian DRAMs XT, 6080, RTX 3080-10GB, RTX 3070Ti, and RTX 3060. The pricing of this main lineup has settled at 97% below MSRP, but it looks like they are just at MSRP and with the next gen so close. These prices don't look that attractive considering in the last gen. We saw prices tumble far lower than MSRP prior to the launch of next gen products. AMD Radeon RX 6000 series graphics card prices are DNA2 GPUs. The AMD Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards have seen the biggest drop in prices when looking at the overall lineup. The top-tier Radeon RX 690XT lineup is currently priced over minus 23% below MSRP while the entry-level RX 660 and RX 6500 over 6400 series range between minus 10 to minus 25% below MSRPs. The RX 680 series are also finally below its MSRP. The RX 650XT and RX 640 are the only exceptions that have been priced 10 minus 20% higher than their MSRP. See this list, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 Series Graphics Card Prices. For NVIDIA cards, the top GeForce RTX 30 Series lineup is available at minus 15 to minus 40% below MSRP. The rest of the lineup is available around or within 10% of their MSRPs. The card that has seen the biggest price drop is the RTX 3090 Ti which is now selling for less than minus 41% below its MSRP. It is likely that this downward pricing trend for NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 30 and AMD Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards won't stop here and we expect more price cuts to happen soon since we are inching towards the launch of the next-gen cards. But if hitting the MSRP or minus 10% below MSRP is the final goal off IBS, then I would say that would be a little underwhelming based on the uplifts we are expecting from the next-gen lineup in terms of performance. So unless you are getting a really good deal, say minus 60% to 50% of the MSRP, I'd say your best option would be to wait for a next-gen graphics card rather than buying a two-year-old graphics card that will soon be replaced by something much better. So please wait for two or three months. We can buy RTX 3090 Ti and 3080 Ti for cheaper price. Thanks for watching this video.